In today's lecture, I will be talking about inflammation. And as you know that the immune system has two arms, innate immune system and adapted or acquired immune system. The innate immune system is composed of four barriers, anatomic, and physiological and vagocytic and inflammatory barrier. So inflammation is an immune response we born with. But however, it is an augmented immune response. And as you know that the aim of, of immune response is to remove the antigen or non-self antigens from the body. So, as you know that uh, inflammation or the inflammatory uh, process may follow several factors, for example, trauma or in some uh, infection. And the inflamed area may show uh, five cardinal signs, uh, redness, hotness, tenderness, swelling, and the fifth one is loss of function. These signs, we call them cardinal signs. And these cardinal signs are due to three major events. Increased capillary permeability. Here, these are the capillary, capillary lined with endothelial cells. So the permeability increased following inflammation and it is also due to vasodilatation of the blood vessels. And as can be seen here, influx of cells. So, influx of cells, increased capillary permeability, and vasodilatation, these are the three major events of uh, the inflammation. And before that, uh, I would like just to give an insight on the trafficking or traffic of uh, lymphocytes and maybe leukocytes. And as you know that uh, lymphocytes, they have short stay in the circulation around 30 minutes and around 45% of these lymphocytes they are carried to spleen and stay there for around five hours and around 45 or 42 percent are carried to lymph nodes and stay there for uh, 12 hours and the aim uh, for that is to encounter non-self antigens. However, 10% uh, of the cells, and namely leukocytes, maybe uh, neutrophils, they cross between endothelial cells line in the capillary, in the capillary, and uh, there are some uh, receptors uh, in the wall of the blood vessel. These are receptors. Allow the white blood cells to settle first and to get out. So, these endothelial cells, they express 
adhesions molecules that interact with the adhesion molecules on the surface of the white blood cells. And these adhesion molecules, they are, or they belong to four uh, families. They are uh, uh, mucin-like, mucin-like, here, for example, this is mucin-like on the surface, for example, of the neutrophil. And is selectin is an adhesion molecule on the surface of the endothelial cell. And integrin adhesion molecule interact with immunoglobulin superfamily on the surface of the uh, endothelial cells. These uh, adhesion molecules actually uh, allow these to, to, to be arrested, allow white blood cells to be arrested. And as you know that the, the blood it goes in a central uh, velocity. So these cells, in order to get out or to extra vasate, they should uh, follow four sequential uh, uh, steps. And these steps are rolling. So the, this include interaction between these uh, uh, adhesion molecules. Then slow rolling. Then the cells get arrested. Then these cells uh, uh, extra vasate and, 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 and come out of the uh, blood vessel of the, uh, of the capillary. Actually, uh, the, this is helped by some cytokines. Uh, for example, tumor necrosis uh, factor alpha that uh, induce the adhesion molecules on the surface of the endothelial cells. However, some of these adhesion molecules are constitutes, constitutively expressed on the surface, but others, it needs some cytokines to express or to get expressed, and this is usually following an uh, inflammatory process. And also some chemokines. Chemokines, uh, these are cytokines, attract the neutrophils or white blood cells from the circulation to the site of inflammation. So during activation, the interleukin number eight and macrophage inflammatory protein beta and uh, TGF beta, transforming growth factor beta. These are chemo attractants for the white blood cells to the site of uh, inflammation. Uh, actually, Monocytes, eosinophils, maybe B lymphocyte, T lymphocyte, they follow the same uh, steps to extra vasate uh, out of the uh, blood vessel. And this I will show it later in what is so called trafficking and homing of lymphocytes.